welcome back into another episode of the Disney Ride Along series where we take one ride or attraction from Walt Disney World and we break down that ride or attraction. We'll talk about the history, we'll talk about the attraction itself, we'll talk about the ride itself, its layout, we'll talk about the pros and the cons, the likes, the dislikes, the wait time, fast pass needed, not needed, and then finally we'll put our Imagineer hats on and we'll talk about any kind of changes that we might make to the ride, whether it's just some minor changes for a reimagination or maybe a full reimagination in some cases. And let's get right into that. For those of you that are visiting our channel for the first time, I'm Walt from Mouse Talk. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Just hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. That way, every time we go live, do a new video, do a new vlog, you are notified. And with today's video, we're going to go over to the Magic Kingdom, Tomorrowland, and we're going to talk about Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Now, the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, this building has been there for a while. It's had a couple other iterations of rides previous to Buzz Lightyear. It didn't become the Buzz Lightyear ride until October of 1998. That's when it debuted. This ride is a continuous moving ride on a track. So, for those that are in wheelchairs or have disabilities, you will have to exit your wheelchair and transfer into the ride vehicle. The ride vehicle seats too, and the whole object of this ride is you are shooting lasers at certain objects and targets throughout the ride. It's a fun ride. It really is fun, and hopefully you can get as high as 999,999. That's the goal, is to kind of max out, and many people have done it. It's very fun. One of the things I really like about this ride are the colors. I think it's a lot of fun, lots to look at. You really feel like you're inside of a video game when you ride this ride. The dislike I have about this ride is the fact that the gun itself is a little bit dated. It's hard to press. The red laser that you get can be difficult to really keep track of because everybody else has the same red laser you have, so you're not really sure whether you are or are not hitting a target. Wait times on this ride are gonna vary. They can be long from time to time. I would say on average, you're probably gonna wait about 20 to 25 minutes on a good day. But on really bad days when the parks are really crowded, you could wait upwards to an hour if not longer. That being said, would I say this ride is a fast pass? Probably not a first choice fast pass. Unless some of the rides are just rides you're not gonna ride, like some of the real popular ones like Mine Train or Big Thunder or Splash or Space. If you're not going to ride any of them, maybe you do get a Buzz Lightyear Fast Pass. I would totally understand that. It was always a second choice Fast Pass for us. But if it's there and you have no other ones to choose from, definitely get it. It'll definitely make your wait time minimal. And now finally I'm going to put on my Imagineer hat. And a lot of you guys and gals are going to be really upset with me. But if I had the power to reimagine this ride, I would probably do a full reimagine. We have a Toy Story type ride that we're to. It's a shooting ride over in Hollywood Studios with Toy Story Mania. I would take this Buzz Lightyear ride and reimagine it as a Stitch shooting ride. Stitch has no presence in the parks anymore. I feel like he needs to have a bigger presence. That's what I would do with this ride. I would make this still a shooting ride. Definitely, I don't want to lose that aspect of it, but I would incorporate Stitch and make it his ride for sure. So there you go, folks. That's Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Great ride. Love it. I really do, but I do think it needs a reimagine. It's a lot of fun. It is fast pass worthy if some of the other ones aren't available. But now it's out to you. I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin? Is this a ride that you're going to take and use your fast pass for? Or are you going to wait in the lines for maybe more than 20 to 30 minutes for it? Tell me what you like or don't like about the ride. How would you reimagine the ride? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Also, if you could, please give us a thumbs up on this video. It definitely helps the video and the channel and it shows you care. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Just hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way, every time we go live or do a new video, you're notified. Check out our partner channels, Steve's World and Disney Dan. Their links are in the description below. We do have a P.O. Box, so if you'd like to send us magic mail, the P.O. Box is also listed in the description below. We love getting Magic Mail. It's always one of the things we look forward to the most. We always try to feature that on a video or a live stream so you won't be forgotten. We will definitely thank you for it. And then other than that, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love doing this series. I hope you love it too. We'll have a lot more coming. 
Lots of rides, lots of attractions. I'm sure your favorites will be coming up. Be sure to check them out. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye.